Okay, so we are setting up my bullet journal for the 22nd through to the 28th. I'm changing the spread up yet again because I found that I hated writing right here with my task lists and that's like one of the most prominent places that I write. So I'm going to change it up a little bit for this week and hang on I'll just get all these ones out because they screw up my my writing so um I shall zoom you guys in move you guys down a little bit and maybe zoom back out a little bit okay so that should be fine okay so I've got my don't like using that ruler with my micron pens, so... I know I've got rulers somewhere. Okay, that shall do. I have a green one. I've got about Ten rulers, I just don't know where most of them are most of the time. Okay, so we're going to put the days here this time. And I don't really put that many to-dos, like things in here. It's just for events because it all goes in the running task list. So, goes there. There. It goes all the way down. Okay. Okay, so I'm also adding a little bit to this spread for my things that I've accomplished this like each week. I think that you know, just things that I've got done, not like achievements, but just things that I got finished this week or things of note because Sometimes it's it's just nice to be able to say, okay, I did this, I did this, I did this, I did this, I did this. And I've been participating in like the NICE program and they have a Facebook page where the participants can sort of say what they achieved this week and everything. And I just find it helpful to sort of take stock of the things that I've actually done rather than con concentrating on the things that I didn't get done so I forgot this one down here okay and now so we can get a really fine one I like this one it's teeny tiny So we're going to write the others a little bit 
more prominent, so I'll use this one. Then I need to draw the separation line in so I can separate the two lists. And I'm going to try and keep my frogs separate from my tasks this time because last week I found I didn't have enough room to write enough frogs. So <laughs> Now for those that haven't been here before, the frogs are things that I really don't want to do that need to get done first thing every day. Or at least one every day. So, there we go. Can write. Dates. This is where I start to not like writing because it's on at the edge here. Okay. Then I get to colour in. Just swore I had that pen. So that pen's disappeared too now. Great. That'd be right. Or is that it over my desk? Hang on. Be right back. Oh, put, the put the other one here anyway. Sort of, that's better. I think you've got to start practicing my calligraphy. Because my writing is hard. Horrible. I've actually really been enjoying writing in white over black the last couple of weeks, so This one's acting like it's sort of a little bit frayed or something. Pretty sure this is the soft tip. Hang on. Oh. Yes, this is definitely the hard tip one. Soft one's better for filling in. Just sort of went out of the lines a bit there too.
other lines there too. I don't know which pen I'm using. Oh well, that's not perfect, that's fine. Okay, oh, I still gotta do this bit. Okay, so we'll see if this week strikes the balance that I'm looking for in my running task list to my daily events, my notes and that. Because previous weeks I've tried different layouts. I mean, I didn't use much. This was a really weird week and I felt like there was too much. So I sort of cut it down the next week and that... I didn't have enough room for my frogs so and I was sort of on the verge of running out of room for my tasks so I think and this is just way too much space for my weeklies so I think what I'm going to do is I think this might work for me really well we'll just have to see Can get rid of the pencil the only spot I have to is where the text is. This is covered up by pen. Okay, so that is the weekly spread. And as with my other weekly spreads, I write the task down here and then I cross it. Like, is it one line if I've started it? Two lines if I've finished it, draw a line through it, and I do the cross on the task list as well, so it's just doubly visible. So, hopefully that works well this time, space-wise, so we'll see. I've got to map out my work blocks. I'm still trying to figure out what works best for me concerning my work blocks, so we'll just, you know... We're winging it here because I'm doing different things week to week. It's sort of hard to judge what I'm going to need for exactly what. And some things I sort of haven't gotten to yet and I've put down. So, yeah. Whereas once I get up and starting the shop, I'll have sort of more set things it's just I'm um, stuck doing a lot of the prep work for opening right now and it's a little bit different to what it's going to be like when I'm actually running the business so now I used color last time and then just did it in the black pen simply because trying to find the color that you used was just a pain in the ass so I'm going to map it out in colour again, so it's sort of colour coded, but okay, so I'm going to do, where did I put, oh, the pen's right there, right in front of me, okay, so, research, we had that as an orange, I will keep that as an orange, okay, so, I'm just going to use this so I can see where things are. So I don't have dirty pencil marks because it was annoying last time. Okay. So I just need to figure out where I'm starting. Get rid of that pencil because it's annoying me. Okay, so
Okay, I don't think I'm going to be doing too much research this week. Um, so I'll leave that there. Design work should be an, a lot this week. I think I'm going to use this movie one this week. See how it goes. Okay, so. Oh, I like this colour. It's much better than that bright pink that I was using last week. Okay, so there's actually going to be a lot of design this week. Well, there should be. So I'm going to put some extra rows in because I really need to get a lot of that done. And a lot of it's going to be just putting certain patterns and artwork over... other like the kits the kit formats and stuff so hopefully okay so that should be plenty that's like you know half the work week video production is always the big one we do that in red Okay, but I don't think I need all of that. I think just the two lines should be enough on video production this week. Because I had to edit a lot of things last week. So I think two lines will be enough for video production. Okay, so the site and blog needs... Probably just as much as a video. Because writing blog posts takes time. I also need to change a little bit of the CSS and um, do some other content. Okay, so that's I might start writing these in so I don't forget what they are. And research includes me learning things to, you know, like uh, looking at different things that informs my choice of sticker stuff. Like, you know, it might be art research. It might be um, how to do a particular thing in Illustrator or, or um, Photoshop or how to digitize certain artworks in a certain way. So that sort of all comes under research. Okay, so social media is blue and that I need to be doing more social media. So I'm going to be putting in, hmm, I think I'll just put in one line, but we'll see if I go over it. That would be lovely. Okay, so planning should only take up one line. So I want to change the colour for planning. Actually, I should probably put styling and listing next because it should be the very next thing. Like, it's a really important thing. So I might do styling and listing.
and while I don't intend to work all of these hours because each block like so there to there is one hour I don't intend to work all of this this is just until I get used to where I'm actually spending my time and what what I'm actually doing so I can always um, readjust um, the end of the week and go okay well I've spent so much time on that I should be spending more time here or you know looking and saying okay well I'm spending that amount of time there what can I do to uh, minimize that time and to be more productive but uh, take up less time so style and listing okay so I think Admin and accounting is only going to take up one. I might use the light green. Just call it admin. Okay, now we've got planning. Should only need one row. Okay, so that is it for my time blocks. Now, there's no way I can work that many hours in a week. As I said, this isn't for me to work that many hours. It's to figure out where I'm spending my time at the moment because I'm sort of getting used to things and see once I've got the shop up and running one of these is going to be fulfilling orders so I'm still going to have design I'm still going to have video production and the site and blog and social media and all of these but I will be cutting back on say maybe design one and um, styling and listing one and I'll be able to put in fulfilling orders as another one and see how that goes so that is the work blocks section for this week so now I just have to write the days in here so we'll go Probably should have used the uh, 08 of my gel pens, but this one's the one I've started with, so. So, we're finished the bullet journal spread for the week. I hope you guys like I know I mean I'm doing the same spread every week so um, I'm just changing up the format a little bit but um, I hope you guys like this bullet journal video if you did like it hit the subscribe button um, if you really want to be notified as soon as I drop a video uh, hit the bell icon thank you for watching and um, I'll catch you guys next week bye